Okay, so I want to do another video related to the softmax uh, operation. And in fact, I, I was thinking more about, uh, you know, what I was saying about the, the so in a previous video, I, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I talked about the log sum x trick. And um, I want to talk about the softmax operation. It's, it's a little bit of a weird misnomer that's developed in the machine learning community, um, which, you know, is something that's just we have to get used to it now because everyone just calls it the softmax, but I will talk about, you know, what is it, what's really going on with the uh, softmax. So let's see. All right. So this is my, uh, my notes. Uh, well, there's no notes yet. It's barely, I just defined, defined what I'm talking about. So the question I want to answer is what is the softmax operation? So I'm, I have, uh, I have here, this is the, um, uh, over here, this is the the uh, log sum x operation, and I'm gonna I'm gonna clear, claim that this is really what should be called the softmax. And people, you know, again, just the way that the language has evolved around this kind type of uh, type of stuff, uh, people don't call us the softmax anymore. They call this the softmax. So this is what they think of, or what everyone thinks of when they think softmax. In fact, in my last video, I was talking about how like, oh, you can use the log sum x operation to compute the log softmax. Uh, well, so that's not really what's going on. I mean, that's not how I think it should be uh, named. This should be the softmax. The log sum x operation is the softmax. And then this is the soft argmax. In fact, if you look at Wikipedia, you see it, it says like, oh, the softmax, AKA the soft argmax, which doesn't make sense because clearly softmax should be something that's different distinct mathematically from the soft argmax. We'll talk about that. So what does that mean? So let's begin by thinking about, you know, what is max and argmax? What's the difference between that? So max and argmax. So in both cases, we get, we get in a collection of things, uh, of numbers. So let's say, uh, so both of them get in a bunch of numbers and let's just say their, their numbers are, I don't know, five, Let's do um, two and uh, nine, right? So you get these numbers in as input. And so the max of this is nine, right? It's not, you know, it's, it's not some zero one vector. It's, it's this nine. Um, the arg max of five, two, nine, right? That is, uh, you know, you could argue that it's, you know, if you, if you index it, is one, two, three, you can, you could say it's three, or a lot of times in uh, a lot of, especially machine learning applications, people encode this as a vector. So it would be something like this, right? So where you indicate, indicate where the max is, right? The max exists here. It happens to be in the value nine, but the arg max doesn't return the value nine. So it doesn't care about the value nine. It just cares about where the max is. So, so this is what I mean by like, like this is max, this is arg max, Right, so they're, they're different operations, right? They're related. You, you can imagine how a computer would calculate what the max is and what the arg max is, and they're they're kind of the same algorithm, but the output is different. The representation of the output is different. So this is where the naming of soft max and soft arg max starts to get a little bit confused. Um, but in either case, okay, so that's that's what max and arg max are. But why are these things? You know, these equations don't really look like they're doing maxing or arg maxing. And, and it, it, it's because um, I, I got to this in the last video. We can do a couple of examples. Um, so let me do an example. Let's just plug in some numbers. Um, and in fact, let me change some stuff. So I, I, wrote, I wrote this out as log and exp, and I didn't say what the base uh, bases are for the log and for the exp. exp, exp, exp. The, the exp function typically is thought of as the, as the e to the whatever is in the input is. Right, so um, you know, x of z is equal to e to the z. Right, that's that's typically how it's defined. I mean, in fact, I, I think that's the only way it's defined. But log is defined with arbitrary bases, and a lot of times in machine learning literature, we write log just to mean the natural log, which a lot of other fields would write as ln. Um, but okay, so so let, let's just change things a bit. So I'm going to rewrite this. Um, I'm going to rewrite this in, in base 10, just so, so that we can think about it a little bit easier. It's, it's hard to do, you know, E to the whatever in, in our heads. Um, it's even hard to do two to the, you know, two to the X in our heads. Um, so, so 10, we, we, humans are pretty good at that because we count on 10 fingers, I suppose. Um, so we're used to base 10. So let me think, um, so what would that look like? So I want to write log um and then it's still going to be a sum oh you know what sorry i already just forgot that the whole point of what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to change it to base 10 
So let's do log 10 of i and and I want to do not x, I want to do uh, 10 to the xi. I think that's it, right? Log, log some. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is the expression, right? And so this I claim, this I claim is, should be something that we think of as a soft max. All right. So, so what, why, why is that? All right. Well, so let's, let's do some, let's do an example. Let's just, just do two numbers for, so we don't have to do too much work. So I'm going to give you a number that's going to be, let's say, let's do two and three. So what's the max of this? Right? Two of three, two and three, the maximum value in those two, in that set of numbers is three, right? So the max should be three. Okay. So let's see. So let's, let's, let's compute this number. So we're, we're, we're going to plug in these values. So we're looking for log base 10 of, so 10 to the two plus 10 to the three, right? Which is equal to log 10 of, uh, I can do this, 100 and one plus 1,000. Plus, whoops, plus 1,000, which is equal to log base 10 of 1,100, right? Uh, okay, so, all right. So we're, we're now we calculate the log base 10 of that. And that, that gets us, you know, okay. So that's where we can't exactly do it in our heads. In fact, uh, well, so I, I know that right, log base 10 is basically counting like how many digits are, are in the in the number roughly, right? Like, so so this should be something like, like um, not how many digits, uh, how many trailing digits after the one. Um, so this should be something like a little bit bigger than a three, right? So there's so a log base, you know, we log, know log, we know that log 10 of, 1,000 is equal to three, oops, that looks really, okay, equals, equals three, right, we know that, um, and we know that log base 10 of 10,000 is equal to four, so this is like way less than four, right, it's been, but it, and it's a little bigger than three, um, let me just, I, I just, I, I can never do these in my head, so let me just do it in, um, let's do the math here, just so I can get some numbers, real numbers for you, um, how do we even calculate this? Maybe I can just use a, I think Google can do it. Log 10 of 1100. Yeah, so, so it's 3.0439, et cetera. Um, so this is not a, that's not supposed to be pi, by the way. It looks suspiciously, okay, it sort of has the same feeling as pi, but it's not. Right? The three, 3.041139 sounds so close to anyway um so 3.3.04 so it's, it's roughly three so so it got us close to the max but it wasn't exactly the max um and i can now let's see so we can see this a bit more if we do i i, I can't let's see we probably can't calculate it for any much larger numbers um Okay, let's just start here. So, so, so that's that's the idea. We, we we roughly have calculated the max, but it's not exactly correct, right? So, um, uh, that's that's it, right? So we get something that's a little bit bigger than the max, but not but isn't but isn't the true max. Um, now let's think about log uh, the R, the actual the what is typically known as the soft max or what I, what I want to call the soft arg max. Let's just calculate this out. So again, we have. On the bottom, so this, uh, this is okay. This is, what would this look like in base ten? So it would be um, ten to the x i divided by the sum. Oh, I've been using j. Let me do j, so that I can just so I can show you these are different numbers. Okay, so x j is one index, and then we're gonna we're gonna sum over. Nope, we're gonna sum over ten. 10 to the x i for all the entries in the vector. So again, our vectors. Uh, two and three. Okay, two and three, and um, let's do let's do this out. So so on, on the top we have one hundred. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's let's do let's calculate it for this expression. Oh, you know what? It is? Maybe we should calculate it for the whole vector. So okay, we'll start with this. Well, let's let's actually let's do this. Let's do the denominator. Denominator is pretty simple. So it's uh, it's going to be ten. Oops. Uh, 1100, right? So it's, yeah, it's 1100. 
right? I already did that above. Okay, so it's 1100, right? So because it's, uh, you know, 10 to the two plus 10 to the three. Okay, uh, so we're gonna have some number. So the vectors will look like this. This is the output of the log sum, uh, sorry, of the, of the uh, arg max. It's gonna be a vector that's gonna be the, this, the calculation for, um, for this cell, right? For, for the two, and then we're gonna kind of have the calculation for the second cell. Okay, so, so now we're gonna do 10 to the two. So 10 to the two, which I'll just quickly convert to, you know, the, the value. Um, and then we have uh, now 1100, 1000 over 1100. So that's that's the um, uh, that is the the soft arg max or the what is typically called, called the soft max, um, and you know the the values here are something like again I, I'm not gonna I don't know it's it's like small what is this this is something that's like less than uh, okay I'll just calculate it out nobody said we had to do any math for this type of thing um, all right so 100 divided by 1100 is 0 0.09 something, 0 0.09 and then 1,000 divided by 1,100 is 0 0.9. Oh, I mean, I should have just been able to do that in my head because I was given, okay, so you just multiply that by 10. So it's 0 0.91 uh, approximately, if you round it. Okay, so that, right, this sums to one, which is not surprising. We, we wanted to sum to one. I, I, I rounded all these things, but, um, but yeah, so we, the, the actual like full numbers will, will also sum to one. Um, and, and what this is, this is like a soft argmax, right? So the true argmax should have been this, right? It should have been, you know, zero, one, indicating that the three is bigger than, than the two. Um, but instead we get this like soft, softer version that kind of like gives a little bit of weight to the two. Um, so that's fine. So, so, so what we're seeing is that these are kind of like approximations for the max and the argmax. Uh, the argmax. And the, the, uh, the important thing to note is that, or maybe one important thing to note is that a lot of times people, I guess sometimes people include this in deep learning, but, but it's often excluded for no particularly good reason. So the base that we chose is, plays a role here. Um, and we can kind of fudge that a little bit with something called a temperature parameter. Um, so a lot of times people will write something like this. So they will write, um, let's do the sum. And let's do exp of, I will just call it T for temperature, but people use different names. Oftentimes this is like a Greek letter because it's a it's a, a parameter, but whatever. Okay, so X, I, let's iterate over I. And I think we have to divide by T out here. I hope I did that right. Um, so the idea is that right, this should not affect the, if there were this was just one number, it would not affect the value, right? So if, the, if if there was if the vector is just a single number, let's say it's I don't know, let's just say it's one for, to make our lives easier. So it's one. So what's what's this? So what's this going to be? So this right here would be would be x of t times one, which is equal to I can do this. Um, hmm. Is it just x with t? Yeah, of course. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so so x it's x with t, and that's the whole sum, right? Because there's only one entry. So then we take the log of that, right? And then we should just get t, and then we divide by t, and we get one. So we get we don't get anything, right? So we, it doesn't affect like essentially we we um, multiply by t in here, and then we divide by t out here, and we kind of cancel everything out. But it doesn't actually cancel things out, right? When we're dealing with vectors, we're actually going to be adding terms in here. Which doesn't, you know, doesn't play nice with like canceling out of law of uh, exponentiation and logarithmic terms, um, but it, it does some really nice things for us in terms of making our um, allowing us to adjust how soft our soft maxes are, or, or how soft our soft arg maxes. Um, and I'll make the claim. You can probably see this. Well, let's just try this again. So let's. So we did two and three. Let's set the temperature to two. Uh, so actually, so I'll write this back in base 10 again. So let's set the temperature to two. Uh, so we're gonna say log base 10 of the sum of i uh, 10 to the t x i. So this is our, lo this is our uh, uh, log sum x. This is our, our soft max with temperature equals two. Whoops, I wrote t, I meant to write 
two. So we're using the two as our temperature. And so let's calculate this out for two and three. So our, our input is two, three. And what do we get? So we, now we get um, you know, one half log base 10 of, let's add these up. So we have uh, 10 to the, well, let me just write out one step at a time. So 10 to the two times two, so that's four, plus 10 to the two times three, which is six. Did I do that right? Doesn't satisfying. Okay, well, let's try it. Um, I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, all right, so, so then we get log one half log base 10 of a million uh, four. So did I do this right? I think that's right. Okay, so let's calculate that out. Okay, typing into a calculator. I mean, you can cut, you can roughly see it, right? And in fact, actually, you can just eyeball this, right? So, so the um, the previous expression, previous expression, we had this term. Let's see, let me point to this. We had uh, this term. This was the term inside our log, and you can see that, like the you know the the number of digits, which is like again roughly what a log base ten does, counts. The number of digits. Um, is four, but then the, like this, the extra junk that we got from the number two went, was, went into just like one tenth of that. So that's that's a pretty big proportion of the the uh, the extra stuff that we got. Whereas here we got one hundredth of it. Um, all right, so you can you can get it you can get a hint that we're going to get something a little bit a little bit a little bit cleaner. Um, but let me just Let me just verify everything. Okay, so all right, so so then we're gonna log base ten, log ten of a million no, ten thousand. Okay, so yeah, we get we get oops, we get something that's six point oh oh four three two one three two one four three two two one. This is like one of those things where it's like I totally it looks like I made that up, but I didn't. Okay, uh, etc. It doesn't continue to um, have strange patterns after that. Um, okay, so, right, so that's six, and then we divide by two. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I, I just should say, this should say one half of this. Okay, all right, so which is equal to three, which is equal to 3.002, blah, blah, blah. So the error now is only 0 0.002, whereas up above we had an error of uh, 0.04, right? So it's an order of magnitude difference. So, okay, so now I'll just make a claim, which you can probably guess, uh, or you can probably believe without proving that um, the limit of, well, let's say, as t, t goes to infinity of, I'm going to, I'm gonna write the whole thing out. So it's um, one over T log of some I X of X I. If I, if I, hopefully there's no typos. Aha, there's a typo. Okay. So I forgot the temperature in here. Temperature times X I and close parentheses. I'm gonna say that the limit approaches the max I of X I. So that's that's my claim. Uh, you can sort you, you know, I, I didn't prove it for sure, but like you can see the examples, right? So first we had a temperature of one, this is equivalent to the temperature of one, and we had 3.04, which is close, but not that close. Uh, then we add temperature of two and we got 3.04, which is closer. So as we increase that temperature, we make it sharper and sharper. And and, and you can think about it, the intuition behind why this is happening is because when you multiply this term, you, you make the difference between uh, the exponentiated terms even wider, right? And, and, um, and, and that's the intuition. Um, and you can do the same with, with, the, with the arg max as well. So arg max also approaches the, the hard, uh, the hard uh, uh, max as we increase the temperature. So, all right, with all that, what's, what's my, what, am I, what is my point here? Uh, I guess it's just that, just be aware of this. Right? I, I think that what happened 
in the literature is that the softmax always existed as a, or it, re, it existed before, actually, I don't even know. I don't know the history. So I, I would suspect what happened was that the softmax was um, you know, known as an approximation for the max. And then people realized that you can use the softmax to you know, calculate probability distributions. So then they said, all right, well, this is something that's kind of like the softmax. And so let's just call it the softmax layer. And then uh, TXI, all right, this is softmax. I'm sorry, I'm switching I and J here, but let me handle it. Um, oh, T. T. So this is the this is the colloquial softmax, right? Um, and people just said, okay, well, it's it's kind of like the, the softmax. It's, it's it's a soft argmax, so we'll just shorten it to softmax. And then there's no name for a softmax. So in fact, if you look in Wikipedia, I think you see that the log sum x is referred to as the real softmax which is a little silly. Like it says real softmax. And then this is like it's fake softmax. I don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not the cleanest thing. So just be aware of this. This is the terminology that's evolved over time. That's the way language works. Um, but if you have trouble remembering like what, you know, what, what does this term mean? You know, what's the formula for it? You can kind of make these connections better if you understand where it came from or what why it's a max like why is this a max at all right this doesn't look like a max well it's because it's an arg max and if you take the temperature to infinity then it, it is exactly the arg max um and that's that's the story uh what else do i want to say about this i think that's it so yeah you know think think about it more as you if you build neural, neural networks you know oh you know one weird thing that happens is if you have two numbers that are tied it acts a little is that weird? Actually, let's try this out. I'm going to try this out. I'm, I'm just curious about this. So let's say let's say our numbers are one, or five, and five. Okay. What is what do we think the soft max will be, and what do we think the the real the real soft max will be? What do we think the soft arg max will be, and what do we think the soft max will be? I actually don't know. Let's try it out. So so let's do it with the base ten again. So 10 to the, I was going to do log base 10 of 10 to the one plus 10 to the five plus 10 to the five. So this should be log base 10 of, I'm doing this without a temperature. Uh, let's see, this should be 20,010, I think. Uh, and that should be one. I think that's right. Uh, and then I'll just calculate that. That's weird. That's definitely weird. I, so this is perhaps where the the, um, the the max approximation starts to really have trouble when there's numbers that are very close to each other. And in this case, this is the worst case. They, they're very they're identical to each other. All right. So uh, let me just make sure I did the, 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 in the uh, exponent correctly. So 10 to the 1 plus 10 to the 5 plus 10 to the 5. Oh, it was 200,000. Okay, I missed the zero. All right, what? Wait, how did I do that? 10 to the five. Oh yeah, I just, I was counting digits rather than counting zeros. Okay, uh, so let's just um, move this over here, add a zero. All right, so 200,010. Yeah, okay, that's correct. So now we'll take the log base 10 of that. One second, all right log 10 of that is five hmm. it worked or five, it's not five it's just 5.3 so 5.3 so it did work I, I, for some reason i thought it would act it would be well i guess it's not as good as it should have been right so if, it, it, this five the point three is a pretty big error so i think that's what's happening here there's, there's a there's a big error that comes from this hmm Okay, but now, now um, what I expect the argmax to look like is it's going to be something like this. It's going to be like, like we know for sure the five and the five will have the same score. So I think it's going to be something that's going to be roughly like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and this would be zero, around zero. It'll be something like that. I, we can, you can do it out. You can do it out. You don't need to watch a video of me calculating this stuff. Um, I, I, that's what it'll be. And, and so that's like weird, right? So then, but at the same time, maybe it's okay, right? You're basically saying like, 
all right, both of these terms, the point five, the five and the five are equally the max. And then the one is most likely not the max. So that, that's roughly what the arg max is gonna do in this situation. All right, I uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, and I'll try to do more videos in the future.